was 15 years old and on a trip to India with my family. And I'll never forget seeing this long line of people outside of a tiny clinic waiting to get treatment for mosquito-transmitted diseases. I remember seeing their bodies hunched, suffering from pain, the look of suffering in their eyes. And as I came home and back to my life here, I couldn't forget those people. I couldn't forget that image. I knew that I had to do something to help them. And I knew that science would be my medium to make that change. So as I began researching, I was surprised to find that over 200 million people die from malaria each year. And while many of us think of a shark or a snake as the deadliest animal, it's actually the little tiny mosquito that causes the greatest number of deaths each year. Now in developing countries, the problem is that many people there can't afford or don't have access to mosquito repellents. Also, many of these repellents are harmful to the human body or to the environment. So my goal became to create an effective, all-natural, and inexpensive mosquito repellent that would be accessible to the global population. But in order to do this, I had to approach repelling mosquitoes in a new way. First, I wanted to understand why certain people, like myself, are more attractive to mosquitoes than others. What I found is that people who have higher levels of nitrogen-based compounds in their sweat are more attractive to mosquitoes. So then I thought, well, what if I can neutralize those attractive components? Kind of like one of those reactions we learned back in middle school, where you have two polar opposite compounds, like an acid and a base, that come together to form two neutral compounds, like a water and a salt. In the same way, I wanted to neutralize these nitrogen-based compounds to create a neutral compound that, most importantly, wouldn't attract mosquitoes anymore. So that was the idea, and I spent two years working in my garage in a high school classroom, building all the equipment I was going to use, collecting sweat samples from athletes, and experimenting with different ratios of fruit juices and plant extracts before I finally landed upon a recipe that was not only effective and all-natural, but it's over 90% less expensive than repellents that are currently on the market. But my science project didn't just end there. I am currently the CEO of Mosquitoes Be Gone, and I'm working to help bring my repellents to villages in India and Africa, and in that way, give back to those who inspired my journey to begin with. Thank you.